Hey guys, how's it going? It's Obi and welcome back to another FIFA 14 Ultra Team discussion video and today we are doing some more potential player stats and cards and the three players that we're going to do are Agbonna, Benzema and Di Natale. So, I do have to thank you guys for the support on yesterday's video. If you missed it, it was a squad builder, it's in the top right of the screen and I really appreciate all the likes. So if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you can hit over 500, that'd be absolutely amazing and don't forget to comment down below of who I should do next. But before we do get started, if you're looking for any other team coins, do check the link in the description for the FIFA shop.co.uk and use the discount code TOBY10 for a really awesome 10% discount off all of your orders, which is crazy. But let's jump into this first player, and the first one we're going to do is going to be Kareem Benzema. Now, these are his FIFA 13 Ultra Team stats, 87 rated overall, 85 pace, 83 shooting, 84 dribbling, 71 passing and 76 heading. So overall, a very good card, but I am going to give him a bit of a downgrade. Now on head to head, I believe he's actually an 85, which I don't think that's right. I think that's a bit unfair, but I am giving him a little bit of a downgrade. Now these are his stats, 30 games, he was subbed on for 11 of those and subbed off 14 times. 12 goals, 13 assists, along with 79 pass accuracy, which in my opinion, I actually think that's good. 13 assists and 79 pass accuracy for a striker is very solid. So what I'm doing is taking zero off the pace, minus two on the dribbling, minus two on the shooting, minus two on the defending, plus one on the passing, and minus two on the heading to give us this overall of an 86 rated striker with medium, medium work rate. So let's jump onto the next player, which is going to be Ogbonna, a fantastic center back on FIFA 13 of the team. And these are his stats overall, a 79 rated with 80 pace, 81 defending, and 82 heading. And before you even write it in the comments, I know he's been injured and he's been out for 10 games. He had a big trouble with a hernia. He had an operation out for 10 games, like I said, but I've got a load of stats and research that I've done on Ogbonna and I personally think he's going to be 80 rated. Now he's moved to Juve, he's going to be training like crazy. So I haven't touched his pace because yes, he was injured, he was down on his fitness, but he's going to be expected to be at full fitness. So I'm keeping his pace, upgrading his defending, upgrading his passing. The reason being 93 pass accuracy with over 1,100 passes. That is amazing. That is very, very good. 61% of challenges won as well. So my overall stat changes are going to be zero change to the pace, minus one on the dribbling, zero on the shooting, plus two on defending, plus three on passing, and plus one on heading. And that is going to be an amazing card. On to the next player, and it is the final player of this episode, and it is going to be Di Natale, an amazing card on FIFA 13 Ultra Team with some incredible stats considering he's 35 years old, 87 pace, 87 shooting and 88 dribbling and what am I doing on FIFA 14? I reckon this is going to be similar to his card. Now the season that he just had was incredibly similar to the season beforehand where we've got this 85 rated card on FIFA 13 so I'm not really changing too much. I'm keeping his pace the same even though he's 35 years old he's still absolutely rapid. Seriously this guy is still quick as anything. Now he played 33 games, 23 goals. That's an amazing record for someone that's 35. He's absolutely incredible. He also got four assists. His pass accuracy was 68%. So I've dropped that down a little bit. And then his shot accuracy was 56. And to put that in perspective, Falcao's shot accuracy was 57. So that's amazing. I'm keeping a lot of stats the same, but the ones I'm changing, zero on the pace, minus one on the dribbling, plus one on the shooting, minus one on the defending, minus two on the passing, and zero on the heading. So that is the card I think he's going to get on FIFA 14 Ultra Team. And that does wrap up this video. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave some comments down below of which ones I should do next. And if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. I always do appreciate it. And if you're new around here, subscribe for some more. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Have an amazing day and goodbye.